Hi, Assalamualaikum and very good morning everyone. So, uh, now we are going to discuss a question from textbook, page 91, self-exercise 3.4. Okay, before that, uh, we are going to use uh, the concept of differentiation and integration. Previously, in differentiation, if we have y, we differentiate. Okay, we differentiate y with respect to x, we get dy dx. Okay, since of integration is inverse process of differentiation, so therefore, uh, if we have dy dx inversely, we integrate, then we get y. Okay, so integrate dy dx with respect to x, we get y. Okay, so now for all this question, we are going to use this concept. Okay, integrate dy dx with respect to x equals to y. Okay, let's do question number one. Okay, uh, 1A. Find the constant of integration C for the following gradient function. Okay, given gradient function dy dx equals to 4x minus 2. Okay, so uh, we integrate both sides with respect to x. So just now integrate dy dx, we get y. Okay, so y equals to in uh, the right side we integrate as usual for x squared over 2 minus 2x plus c okay then we simplify we get y equals to 2x squared minus 2x plus c okay now given from the question the value of uh, y and x y7 x negative 1 so we substitute these two values into the equation. So we get 7 equals to 2 times negative 1 squared minus 2 times negative 1 plus C. Okay, so then C equals to 7 minus 2 minus 2. Okay, so C equals to 3. Okay, so next question. Question B. Okay, same. Given gradient function, dy dx equals to negative 6x minus 6 over x cubed. Okay, so we simplify first. dy dx equals to negative 6x minus 6x power of negative 3. Then we integrate both sides. Okay, integrate dy dx with respect to x, we get y. So, the right side becomes negative uh, 6x squared over 2 minus 6x power of negative 3 plus 1, negative 2 over negative 2, okay, plus c. Okay, then we simplify here. Uh, y equals to negative 3x squared plus 3 over x squared plus c. Okay, given y6 and x equals to negative 1. Okay, so we substitute into the equation 6, sorry, uh, negative 1. Okay, negative 3, negative 1 squared plus 3 over negative 1 squared. Okay, plus c. So, c equals to 6 plus 3 minus 3. So, c equals to 6. Okay, then for question number 2, given dy dx, okay, dy dx equals to 20x cubed minus 6x squared minus 6, okay, and y equals to negative 2 when x equals to 1. Find the value of y when x equals to half, okay. So, before we find the value of y, we have to find the equation of y first, okay. To find y, we integrate dy dx okay so uh, dy dx both side we integrate with respect to x integrate dy dx is y so the right side become 20 x power of 4 over 4 minus 6 x cube over 3 minus 6 x plus c okay so this one y is 5x power of 4 minus 2x cubed minus 6x plus c. Okay, the first information, y2x1. So, we put, uh, we substitute uh, values of y and x into the equation. 
So 2 equals to 5, 1, 4, minus 2, 1 cube, minus 6, 1 plus C. Okay, so C equals to 2 minus 5 plus 2 plus 6. Okay, so C, oh, sorry. So C equals to um, 5. Okay, C equals to 5. Okay, so uh, then uh, we substitute C into the equation. Okay, into Y. Okay, so therefore Y equals to 5X power of 4 minus 2X cubed minus 6X plus C. Okay, so the second equation, the second information, uh, the question asks you to find the value of y when x equals to half. Okay, so now we substitute x equals to half, then we can get the value of y. Okay, so y equals to 5, 1 over 2, power of 4, minus 2, 1 over 2, cube, minus 6 times 1 over 2. Sorry, this one plus 5, okay? This one plus 5. Okay, plus 5. Okay, so it would be... Um, okay, so 33 over 16. Then, question number 3, find the equation of curve. Okay, so now equation of curve. Equation of curve is y. Okay, for each gradient function, given gradient function dy dx, which passes through the given point. Okay, so now question 3a, uh, dy dx equals to 9x squared minus 2. Okay, integrate with respect to x both sides. So, y equals to 9x cubed over 3 minus 2x plus c. Okay, then we simplify y is 3x cubed minus 2x plus c. To uh, find the value of c, here we have a uh, point. Okay, 1, 6. Okay, meaning that the value of x is 1 and the value of y is 6. So, we substitute into equation. So, 6 equals to 3, 1 cube minus 2, 1 plus c. Okay, so c equals to 6 minus 3 plus 2. So, c equals to 5. Okay, so therefore, don't forget to uh, substitute your value of C into equation. Okay, because the question asks you to find the equation of the curve. So, meaning Y. So, Y equals to 3X cubed minus 2X plus 5. Okay, done. Now, we move to the uh, next question, 3B. Okay, dy dx equals to 10x minus 2. Okay, same, find the equation of the curve. Integrate both sides. So, y equals to 10x squared over 2 minus 2x plus c. So, y equals to 5x squared minus 2x plus c. To find c, we substitute the... Uh, coordinates okay 2 and 13 okay value of x and y so 13 is 5 2 squared minus 2 2 plus c so c is 13 minus 20 min, uh, plus 4 okay so c equals to negative Three. Okay, so therefore the equation y equals to 5x squared minus 2x okay, uh, minus 3. Question C, uh, dy dx equals to 24x squared minus 5. Okay, so integrate here y, this one 24x cubed. Over 3 minus 5x plus c. So this one y equals to 8x cubed minus 5x plus c. Okay, substitute the point 1, 1. Okay, so 
y is 8 times 1 cubed minus 5 times 1 plus c. So c, oh, sorry, y is 1. Sorry, y is 1. Okay, 1. So c is 1 minus 8 plus 5. So c equals to negative 2. Okay, so the four equation is y equals to 8x cubed minus 5x minus 2. Okay, then question D, same, all the same. Okay, so dy dx equals to 18x squared plus 10x. Okay, integrate both sides. So y equals to 18x cubed over 3 plus 10x squared over 2 plus c. Okay, so we simplify first. Here we have y equals to 6x cubed plus 5x squared. Okay, plus c. Okay, so then we substitute. Here given the point is negative 2, negative 8. Okay, so we put into the equation negative 10. Uh, sorry, uh, okay, negative 10. Negative 2, negative 10. Okay, so y is negative 10. So, 6x is negative 2 cubed plus 5, negative 2 squared, okay, plus c. So, c is um, negative 10 plus 48 minus 20, okay. So, c equals to um, 18, okay. So, therefore, the equation is y equals to 6x cubed plus 5x squared plus 18.